<laughs> Thanks for taking the time out today to speak with me. I appreciate it. Hi, Karen. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Good things. How are you doing? I'm doing good. This uh, this whole process has been a bit of a roller coaster, but at the same time, I'm you know taking advantage and and uh, using this you know for for the things for the future and you know making the most of this like opportunity that I've been given. So I wanted to start off asking about how you became involved in going to the Amazon and working with the animals and what that process was like and maybe what piqued your interest in uh, pursuing this type of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I left the military um, after doing one tour of Afghanistan and uh, I was in quite a, a depressed place, um, very, uh, very troubled actually with PTSD and trauma. Um, and so when I went to the jungle the first time, I actually went with the intentions of never coming back. I was very, very depressed and just wanted to honestly leave this earth. And so when I was there, I made some connections, I made some friends and, you know, it took me about two weeks to just realize like, this is a beautiful place. I had this epiphany of like, I needed to live. And then from there on, I, you know, I spent a lot of time in the jungle. I made some connections, made some friends. I learned from native people. I was just trying to just like absorb it like a sponge. Um, and then obviously Khan came about and You know, nobody can ever really be taught how to raise a, a wild animal. It's it's you can understand a wild animal and you can you can research a wild animal, but to become one and to become its mother, it's not in any book. So it was just trial and error and learning how to hunt and learning, you know, different signs that they would give, different sounds, kind of different movements. It was just learning and learning and you know I'm extremely fortunate that I got to learn with these animals because not only did I teach them things but they taught me so much about the jungle that you can't read or you can't learn in school or books. With um, your journey in the Amazon now being uh, featured in the documentary of uh, what was that experience like of becoming attached to being the film and really working on it as well? You know I I feel like when I was with the ocelots, it was just such a natural thing. Um, being with them was incredible and being able to film and, and make memories with them was, was even better. Um, there were, obviously were tough times. There was very hard times and, you know, technology wouldn't work or I'd be sick or, you know, the ocelot would run away for a day and I'd be just in a, a ball of mess because I wouldn't know what was actually going on. But At the end of the day, looking back on it, these were, you know, some of the most incredible moments I've ever had in my life. And like I've said, I'm very, for, you know, very fortunate for everything that I have been able to do with these cats. And and the film itself, you know, shows a lot of um, a, a lot of vulnerability. And and I think that the film um, is going to give a lot of hope to other people. And uh, you know, I hope a lot of people kind of through everything that I've done can take away some, you know, something from it. I was actually also about to ask you um, what you hope audiences can take away from your journey in the Amazon and just the film in general and really relate to your journey as well. Yeah. Um, I hope that when people watch it, that they don't get too upset or too triggered. It's, ob it's obviously a very, uh, it's a hard film. It's a hard film to me, for me to personally watch because, you know, it's my life story. I, it's a lot of trauma. It's a lot of uh, hurt and upset. But I hope that one thing that people can take away is that they're not alone. Um, a lot of people who struggle with depression, um, myself included, sometimes feel that they are alone in this process and they are, Um, just struggling to get by. Um, but I want people to know that they're not alone. There is light at the end of the tunnel and there is always support wherever they need it, even if they don't feel like it's there. Well, I think that was me, but thank you again for taking the time out to speak with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much, Karen. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.